You're tuned into the Tech Vet. In today's episode, I'm asking the question, should I have a personal cyber insurance policy? Let's dig in. To get us started, let's head to USAA to find out what a personal cyber insurance policy is. According to USAA, a cyber policy provides a range of coverages to help protect you and your family. It can help cover expenses related to a cyber attack, such as identity theft, fraud, ransomware, cyber bullying, and more. You can get coverage up to $10,000, $25,000, or $50,000. So I've seen other insurance agencies that, that offer policies up to a million dollars. I was just using USAA because they have a really easy to understand explanation of what a cyber insurance policy is. Why does this matter? Well, let's head over to Forbes Advisor to look at some stats that I think you really should know. There are more than 4,000 ransomware attacks every day in the United States since 2016. According to the FBI, that's a 300% increase since 2015, which averaged 1,000 ransomware attacks per day. And that's just ransomware attacks. There are so many different <laughs> cyber attacks out there and cyber threats, but that's for another video. But for right now, let me share uh, some cyber attacks that happened just within the last month, just so you can see just how real these cyber threats are. Remember the MGM cyber attack? That's still fresh, right? Turns out they ended up losing $100 million due to that cyber attack. Caesars, they were attacked the same week MGM happened. I don't know what Vegas did to piss off the hackers, <laughs> but they were actually told they had to pay a $30 million ransom and they ended up paying $15 million to recover the data from their attack. Clorox, they were attacked. Uh, and when that happened, their stock dropped 2%. And then they had to project losses for quarter four, 2023 and quarter one of 2024 due to supply chain issues because of the attack. Quick Trip reported an IT outage due to a cyber attack. The St. Louis Metro Transit was hit with a nasty cyber attack. Simpson Manufacturing Company shut down due to a cyber attack. I haven't seen any reports of the impact of that cyber attack, but I'm sure they will come in due time, right? <laughs> and then I saved the best one for last. 23andMe was attacked, and it has reported that this was a targeted attack to a certain community, and I won't say what community that is because I'm not getting accused of anything. But it was confirmed that the information that leaked included full names, date of birth, DNA, profile, and location details. Another thing to pay attention to is this statement here. Attackers initially gained unauthorized access to a small number of accounts, but eventually exfiltrated the data of a larger yet undefined number of clients due to them activating an optional feature named DNA relatives, which connects genetic relatives. With that last attack, the bad actors were given a roadmap to more victims. Now, think about that one for a little bit. Matter of fact, you don't even have to think about it. Look, there was a new article, an updated article that came out. Check this one out. This article says that if a user had this feature turned on, in theory, it would allow hackers to scrape data on more than one user by breaking into a single user's account. That's scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty scary. So we started this episode talking about how cyber attackers have been targeting companies and how those attacks can lead them to consumers like you and I, right? And so you might be looking at this saying, yeah, that'll never happen to me. Well, let me introduce you to Miss Bloom. Miss Bloom was a victim of a social engineering attack and she lost $661,000, which was her whole retirement savings. So uh, just because, you know, maybe it hasn't happened to you yet, as they say, <laughs> anybody can get touched, right? Uh, especially on the internet. So think about that one for a little bit. Now these cyber attacks that I just shared with you, they all happen just within the last month. <laughs> uh, so if, 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 if you need some, some things to think about as far as saying, hey, you know what, do I, should I get this cyber assurance policy? Just think about that. This stuff happened all within the last month. And that shows you these cyber attacks are really real. 
<laughs> so now think about the millions of consumers that use the services and products of these companies that got hacked, right? I use Clorox, right? So maybe they didn't get my info from Clorox, but maybe they got my info from the, the stores that I go to and get my Clorox products from, right? And then I've been to Quick Trips. <laughs> I've been to a Quick Trip. Um, so I know they have, you know, some of my information there. But thank goodness I never got onto the 23andMe craze. I just missed it. But how many of you did get into that craze? And if you're saying, hey, I did that, uh, you might want to go check your credits <laughs> right now. This this stuff is serious. And then don't forget what happened to Miss Bloom. If they went after her, someone who lived her life and, and saved up for retirement and then she retired, what's stopping attackers from coming after you and I? Huh? Here's the deal. When you surf the web, you accept all the risks <laughs> that come with surfing the web, just like you accept the risk of driving on the road with crazy people every time you jump in the car. Now, you wouldn't jump in the car without insurance, right? Uh, Well, I mean, unless you you riding dirty like that, right? <laughs> and I think it's really getting to the point to where getting on the internet requires the same level of protection against liabilities, just like driving your car, right? You get insurance for your car to protect yourself from any liabilities just in case of a mishap. And I believe we're there for the internet as well. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think that uh, after what I just showed you, it's a good idea for you to get yourself a cyber insurance policy. I'll let you know right now, I use Expedia and I check my credit every day. I got my credit account unlocked and I have identity theft, but I'm also researching you know, insurance agencies to see which which agency has the right policy for me, right? Because uh, I got to protect myself and I urge you all to do the same. Earlier, I quoted that there are over 4,000 ransomware attacks a day in the U.S. That's a very steep number, right? So that means your chances of being hit with a ransomware attack are very high. Not to even mention the other types of cyber attacks out there, right? And don't forget what happened uh, with, with 23andMe. So again, someone could, could hack an organization like 23andMe and use data there to get to you, right? Um, and please, please, please don't forget what happened to Miss Bloom because if it happened to her, uh, it could happen to anybody, right? So I think you should have a policy to protect yourself. I look at having a cyber insurance policy like having an inhaler for people that have asthma. I have asthma, so I know how it is. Uh, you don't want to have an attack and you don't have your inhaler, right? It's the same thing with cyber insurance. You don't want to get hacked, get breached, lose a lot of money, get your identity stolen, and then you don't have any way to cover yourself from those liabilities to, to maybe get some of that money back like Miss Bloom. So something to think about, right? So I actually encourage you to shop around, get out there, see what policy is best for you. Leave a comments below. Let me know, do you already have a policy? Are you thinking about getting one after what I showed you? Or are you like, mm, I'm good. Either way, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for taking the time to, to watch the video. If you got any value from this, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, cheers to your success.